Hello, my name is Bryn McCauley. You're watching ARC Media TV. My guest today is Corey York. Corey, you are the co-founder and CEO of Power Stores, an incredible platform for businesses to create and manage an online store. Recently rebranded as Webware.io, the company offers a DIY website platform that is now complemented with robust do-it-for-me setup and support services to ensure businesses become competitive in the online world. You also co-founded Gift Cards India, a massive distributor and retailer of gift cards and vouchers, partnering with over 200 of India's top brands. You've been living and working in Mumbai for the past 10 years, initially as an employee for Novator, another virtual retailer, and more recently, working for yourself. When you first started up, how did you find your customer base? You would see companies like Wix and Shopify and Squarespace are the companies that we go up against. Um, they're primarily focused on finding companies that are already online or online startups or entrepreneurs who are starting a business while they have a job. Uh, you'll find our customer base is actually offline and not online yet. And uh, interesting statistic is that 75% of businesses in America, and I'm guessing Canada too, um, don't have a website at all. So we really focus on getting to those small businesses through offline marketing channels and helping them get online for the first time. You were an employee at Novator for seven years in their Mumbai office and you were implementing their virtual retailer and then you started your own virtual retailer. What, um, what were some of the business and marketing strategies that you wanted to improve upon by starting your own business? Novator would, would build websites for some of the largest companies in the world. Um, it would take almost a year to build a website. Uh, it would cost someone a quarter million dollars to start and thirty thousand dollars a month. So when I decided to build my own company, uh, I did. I wanted to do the exact opposite. It'd be almost next to nothing to start your website, and you'd be up and running in a few minutes. Uh, and every month, you're not paying thirty thousand dollars. You're paying, you know, thirty dollars or ten dollars or hundred dollars, depending on which plan you pick. So when I finally made it full circle to a time in my life where I can go back and create something, I said I want to create something that I would have loved when I was 18 and 19 and looking for my first business. Right, so using yourself as a customer. Yeah, I just made you know something that would have made me happy 10 years ago, 15 years ago. Awesome. Yeah. Gift Cards India is a massive online retailer of gift cards and vouchers. Um, what inspired you or appealed to you about the Indian market and made you want to set up shop there? When I was leaving Novator, uh, I actually had pitched Gift Cards India internally to Novator to start in India because we were in India and it was really obvious that people paying a quarter million dollars to build an online store in India was a little further out in the future. Mm -hmm. And I proposed Gift Cards India internally for us to build relationships with all the retailers and, and it's quite an easy product to sell online. So that, that's why I started it and when I left Novator I basically just dusted off the business plan and said, you know, this is already written, I know all the retailers there, I've been there for five or six years. So there's a big lesson in that and do what you know. Do what you know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, absolutely. Um, use what you have. You know, you, you need stepping stones and if you already have stepping stones you can use. Like if you have a network in a specific industry, then it makes a lot of sense to start it in that industry. So what are some of the major differences that you've noticed in that area between the Canadian and Indian markets? You know, what's interesting is that when you talk to them in India and you listen to the problems, you ask them, what can I help you with? What are the problems you're facing? They're the same as as a Canadian small business. There, there is no difference. Uh, it's I have no time, I have a low budget, my cash flows are tight, I need to get online, I don't understand it. So when we took power stores from India to, to Toronto and now into America, we really didn't have to change much in terms of how we speak to the customers. What are some of the marketing strategies that you've used in Canada that haven't worked in India or vice versa? We're in North America, in a lot of cases, the retailer's already online. They know what features they want. They already had an experience, so sometimes we have to match that or beat it. Um, we're in India, we're, we're talking more about you know, why you should be on the internet entirely. Like, what are the benefits of the internet for a small business? Here, we don't have to have that discussion. Right. Well, thank you so much for sharing your knowledge with us. My name is Bryn McCauley. You're watching ARC Media TV. And thank you very much to Williams Landing for sharing your beautiful space with us.